All right, strap in, cause we got a big one. It's a uh, Lolly Merlin Festival. Hooray! I kind of knew it was Lolly Merlin for a little while, um, cause you know it was kind of hinted, being like a Merlin sort of celebration that we had on GP. So it was kind of you know going the direction that Merlin was gonna be the festival, but. I was still kind of holding hope that it was going to be wheelchair go for first ultimate Leotis, but what can you do? Lolly Merlin. And, um, yeah, let's take a look at what she does. Now, this celebration in general, I like the picture that they're using. I mainly really want this render of the one crossing his arms. That's a really cool render. I don't like this Meliodas, though. He's looking at me pretty weird. Um, but Lolly Merlin, let's take a look first at what she does, and then we're going to take a look at her... Uh, her like uh, animations and stuff. By the way, just for a disclaimer, I'm really feeling pretty sick today. Not since I woke up, since a few hours ago, I've been feeling like a little bit of fever. So if I sound incoherent or if I keep repeating myself, I'm sorry, I just don't feel all that great. I really want to go to bed after recording this. Been drinking a lot of water. Drinking water is good. But let's take a look at what she does. Uh, looking at her stats is very important, which we'll look in a bit, but just, you know, uh, as you know, abilities. Her passive is, this is a festival by the way, so festival. During the enemy's turn, each enemy skill cannot deal more than 40% of the hero's max HP. Her. Meaning, you know, turn one, the enemy can't just do 300k damage with their, their the one on Merlin. They can do up to 40% of the HP that she has. Um, and then the second hit, 40 again, and then the third hit, she's dead because uh, it's 40%, it's not 40% of current HP, it's 40% of max HP, keep that in mind. So if Merlin has exactly 40% HP, the hit will kill her. Increases attack related stats by 1% per 4% of remaining HP. Now this part is big, I think it can really help her. Now, ab uh, ability, or, or abilities or cards, inflicts power strike damage equal to 475, this is the same skill as Sario, which is very good. Second skill, inflict damage equal to 280 of attacks on all enemies in fact for two turns. This is the same skill as Green Demon Meliodas, boosting the damage and lowering the amount of effects. So for the gameplay they showed, if you didn't see the stream, they showed the gameplay, uh, they're buffing this card as the first level 1 here will be 120% but will do in fact. So it's a little bit nerf on damage but a buff on the fact that she does in fact level 1. And in fact, if you don't know, it restricts all, you know, recovery related stats, so no lifesteal, which is huge, you know, as soon as the, uh, the in fact kicks in, no lifesteal. In fact, it used to be a very bad ability, uh, because back in the day, cleanse was really popular, but currently cleanse is dead, so, n like, no units basically use cleanse, maybe red glocks. Sorry if I heard something behind me, uh, but it was nothing weird. So... You know, in fact, now it's pretty good. No life steal, really nice. Um, ultimate inflicts damage equal to 400% to all enemies. Creates a barrier around all allies equal to 5% of the damage. When attacked, no bonus effect will be applied. This is sort of like Goddess Liz, and then at max, uh, you know, level 600%, 20% of damage. Now, for the you know live stream side of things, when they were showcasing her, the announcers or whatever the people playing, were saying that it was supposed to be only for her, not for all allies. So we'll see when she actually comes out in game, if it will remain all allies or it will become, you know, just for her, that shield. Now, let me take, let me take this, you know, and say real quick, the gameplay they showed of her was garbage. And what I mean by that is, they played with their butts. It was so bad, they literally showed her getting destroyed by the one. You're gonna have to watch the gameplay to see. They literally showed her getting railed by the one, which is not a good look. Um, so that's very disappointing. I have some faith that this unit could still be very good. Let me mute real quick and put in two times. Uh, I have some faith that this unit could be very good. But the gameplay they showed of her was terrible. You need to watch the gameplay to really see. The, she got destroyed. She got actually destroyed by the one. 
So what, what I'm doing here is I want to see the stats, the uh, the stats real quick, because I actually kind of uh, didn't see when I was watching because I was just distracted by something else. But I do believe her stats are very good. Now I'm seeing a lot of positives right now, but I have a big negative coming in a bit. Um, and you wanna hear, you're, you're gonna wanna hear that because I'm a little infuriated about it. I'm personally infuriated about it. Uh, can can we? Oh, it's right here. Okay. So her stats: 88.5 percent. I'm assuming this is full cosmetics, by the way. 88.5 percent pierce, 51 percent resistance, 73 percent crit chance, 183 percent crit damage, 87 percent crit resistance is huge. Even though she can't even take more than 40 percent, so it's a huge. I don't know. Um, biggest thing though. For each 4% of HP, she'll be giving herself 1% attack related stats. So first turn, first things first, she got 25% attack related stats. Is that the math? That's the math, right? Yeah, 25. 25% attack related stats, which is big. So I have faith that this unit could be good, but she has some things drawing her back. Can't use her if Green Gelfer. And she got destroyed by the one the gameplay. I would recommend I would recommend checking the, the live stream. Me watching the live streams around here. And watch the whole thing. Watch the whole gameplay. Where is it? I think they went to like a yeah, sorry like here. Watch the whole gameplay from 30 to 33 minutes. I'm not gonna play here because I just wanna be done with the info and then because we already saw this, right? Uh, but you just have to see it, man. He, she just got destroyed. <laughs> but Here's the biggest offender, and this is why I believe you should skip her. Not because she is the, the worst thing ever, but this. This is her banner right here. Where is the picture? Oh, it doesn't show the picture. Never mind. So, it doesn't show the picture, but her banner is her, Goddess Liz, and King. They did not include the one Escanor or Lost Vein Meliodas in the banner. Mainly the one Escanor is my biggest offender in this one. Now, I wasn't expecting Assault Melee to be in the banner because they are creating a new type of festival. They're making this the basic festival, and units you know, like Assault Melee will be the Holy War festival. So it's two separate festivals. I don't like that, but it's what we got. They did not put the one on this banner. They put Denzo, though. Denzo, if you don't know what he does, he's one of the worst units in the game. He's a side unit, probably gonna have the same rates as Merlin. And he's also the free unit for the fat for the He's a side unit for Merlin. Like, you know how Green Arthur, a fantastic unit, was a side unit for Ascanor? Denzo is a side unit for Merlin. It's just pathetic. Every side unit has been good. Um Green Frogion was good when he came out. Not good anymore, but he wasn't come out. Green Demon Hendrickson was good when he came out. Arthur is good, and that's it. Um, Goddesses didn't have one. And yeah, Assault Melee didn't have it either. Uh, but yeah, Denzel was the first bad side unit. He's a side unit. He's in the banner and he's free as well. And by free, I mean he's one of these little missions that you do to get the free unit, right? Where you do like these little missions and you get a free unit. Um, that's usually the unit in the banner that comes out with the, the festival character. Yeah, he's, he's in there. And instead of Green Arthur, which was a fantastic unit, it's Denzel. So, to me, this is the worst festival release they've ever done. Lost Vein was a really good celebration. I remember the 7.77 or whatever uh, million dollar celebration was one of the greatest celebrations they ever did. It was the introduction of the Lily event, which was really good at the time. And. And then what we had after that. Goddess Liz was probably the worst celebration we ever had. Not just because Goddess Liz, but the anniversary itself was very underwhelming. And then we had King, which was actually a pretty decent celebration. Then we had The One, which is the hypest character they ever released. Maybe Toto Toto for Salt Meliodas. Like, and then Merlin is a... Honestly, I think she could be a very good unit. I, I, I'm unironic, I think she's probably a good unit. I, I don't think she's actually bad. I think she could be a very good unit. We, the, the announcers or whatever for the livestream were terrible at the game. They didn't show her properly. She's probably she's probably good, but it's just 
the way they package the celebration just seems off to me. Um, just the banner not having the one is just a spit on my face, really. You can still buy him with festival coins. Um, here. It says right here, you can buy with uh, festival coins. Ah, where is it? Is it here? It's somewhere here. It says right here. So, uh, here. You can buy with festival coins, the one in Las Vegas, right? But you can't pull him in a banner. Like... <sighs> and then the banner sucks. Uh, we have Sario, which is good, of course. But then we have Arthur, Matrona, Death Pierce, De Daldry, uh, Green Ascanor, I think this is Red Merlin, and then Blue Merlin, and then I think the coin shop units, the Sin coins. So it's like it's a really bad banner, too. It's. I recommend skipping. I genuinely recommend skipping. Um, unless, you know, me, Satan. Uh, Speedy, all, all, all the big, all, all the, the big boys, you know, all the, all the Grand Cross YouTubers are probably gonna be summoning for her just sh for content purposes. Honestly, if I was just a regular player that isn't a content creator, I would skip easily. Um, but you know, we're, me and the boys are definitely gonna be showcasing her and trying her out. Maybe she's gonna be the meta. Maybe she's gonna be the bastion in the game. Jamish doesn't sound like it though. Um, did I close my video? Am I actually stupid? I was gonna show her animations because I think her animations actually look pretty sick. So this is the uh, the single target attack card, the same one as Sario. I think all the animations look pretty sick. As soon as they want to show it. Let me play in punch time speed again. Is it just me? I feel like recently I can only watch YouTube videos in true time speed. Like any video, no matter who I'm watching. Yeah, she throws like an ice thing at them and there's like an electrical thing. It's pretty cool. But the ultimate, I think, is very, very good looking. Come on, man. They, they take so long. I, I, I feel like... Okay. Yeah, I think that the animations are sick. I think they're really bad time on these, uh, these live streams. Right, this is the AoE. She does like a... Tornado type thing, it's really cool. And then, okay, she should, okay, should uh, level 3, yeah. So, the level 3 here, it shows 250% in 3 turns, but it is mentioned in the uh, actual, like, dev notes that it's 280 in 2 turns. See, the animations look sick. And then we have the ultimate. The animations look sick. But, I would recommend waiting for, uh, you know, the YouTubers to try them out, try her out, see if she's good. See, but I'm telling you right now, okay? Do not, do not get convinced by our first videos, okay? Of course we're gonna think she's amazing the first time we try her, okay? <laughs> All right, now that we got that out of the way. Also, because if I don't say she's the best thing in the game, my videos will get 10 views. Yeah, her ultimate looks sick. She does a perfect cube. Throws everything out of the perfect cube. This is a big boom. And then she gets the perfect cube on herself. That's animations. Um, that's about it. I'm gonna... I, I could cover the patch notes once it's all translated, but honestly, I don't know. Super boss battle and exchange open. Oh, it's the, uh, like, one of those generic demons they always do. Uh, what's this? Oh, yeah, this is where I saw Denzel. So Denzel is the free unit. He's already a free unit from the banner, by the way. I don't know why they're giving him again. So they're giving two copies of him for free. Like, yay! I'm so happy about... Not their free one! Let's go! Yeah, look at that. See, they ask for celebration, right? They gave all like all those like level 80 units. It's so much better, man. The Ascular celebration was so much better. Not just because it was Ascular. I mean of course it's you know part of it, but Don't tell me these are the only packs they're dropping. Don't tell me these are the only packs they're dropping. 
<laughs> I need some stuff to upgrade material, man. Tre sacred treasure shop? Oh, they're redropping these cosmetics. See, I always found that this weird, right? They gave cosmetics for all the three festivals at the time, right? These were the only three festivals out, and then the end. It's so weird. Then they drop for the rest of the characters, of course. Uh, they're just dropping all these characters, all these uh, costumes again. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the Bond one. I, I actually didn't get it like, last time, but I think he looks sick. Even though Bond has no good units, unfortunately. Neither could either. Is this... The only pack? Six bucks, you get 25 gems? There's no like pack with like upgrade materials? It sucks, man. I need to upgrade her with her cosmetics. Anyways, uh, that's it. We'll see. Uh, wait for the showcases. I'd recommend skipping. Uh, don't go full in as soon as the banner drops, please. I don't recommend.